Okay, Art 3, we are going to get started on our project with Rex Ray, and here's a few kind of papers that I have found that I'm going to work with for the project. I'm going to start with that. Next, I'm going to draw two or three thumbnails of ideas that I've gotten from. Just one second. I'm going to go ahead and watch this first video right here. It's going to give me a little bit of information about Rex Ray and how he worked at this as an artist and um, really goes really well with this week when we're talking about principles of design and how it goes with compositional hierarchy. You can see here I'm going to be putting in another little set of videos. So I haven't put that in yet. Part of the video is what you're watching. Anyway, you'll come to this screen and this screen is gonna have a whole bunch of thumbnails of different parts of either famous paintings or well-known paintings or just good, good artwork that has to do with these compositional tricks. Simplica simplification, rule of odds, rule of thirds, and triangles. These are some of the tricks we're gonna be learning this week, but anyway, you'll come and you'll choose two of these that really you'd like to work from, and then you will begin to make thumbnails, which means take a sketch of each of these two and just make a quick, quick sketch that you're going to then use um, as kind of the structure for making your collage. Again, these are my two sketches, my thumbnail ideas, and I decided that I'm going to go with this image as the beginning of my, um, of my collage I'm going to make. So you're going to have two choices for how to make it. I've made a preliminary sketch that's, um, well, yours can be between five, five inches by five inches or four by six. Um, I've made mine a little bit larger so you can see it better, but I've just put the main lines in first. The next thing I'm going to do is cut out my pieces. And as I cut them out, I'm going to think about um, creating things from back to front. So I'm going to work on creating the pieces of the collage that are going to go in the background first and then I'm going to go first. And I'm using the rule of triangulation. And again, this is the image that I'm working from. We can see there's a lot of triangles in, in that face there. So I'm going to use some of that in it. Um, triangulization is what people use a lot in their compositions to move the eye about. Okay, I'm starting to um, collage in my background. Like I said, we do that first. You um, kind of want to, as you get started, lay a piece down and fold back and, and draw pencil lines in as you go. Be sure as you cut it, you don't have the pencil line showing and you begin to put that in. Do not begin gluing anything until you have all your pieces done. I'm gonna, get, I'm gonna go ahead and cut this and I'll place it. Um, always cut it a little bit bigger than you want. That way you can trim it out and you don't make it too small. And that's it. Why don't you want to glue it? You don't want to glue it at this point because you want to wait and see how all of the composition goes well together. You want to look at the color um, and how it balances. And um, just remember the principles of design. You want to consider how that composition has balance. And that's it. Okay, so here you can see that I have Cut away the background first into the collage and I've been real careful to keep it nice and clean. I've erased a few pencil lines as I've went and so I'll start working again back to front um, and I'll probably work with the biggest shapes first. So I'm going to go into what I've got as the face. Here we are with a little more progress. I'm out on my back porch as I make this for you guys. I uh, just wanted to show you uh, where I was with the cutting process. Okay, hey, here's it a little bit farther. Um, one thing I want to tell you is that as you work, erase your pencil lines. Uh, it's a little challenging. You have to kind of hold your pieces down and uh, blow the shavings out of the way. Um, another thing to think about is making sure that when you glue it, you don't get glue all over this. And that when you glue, you hold it upright like this. And you, it's a little hard to do with one hand, but you glue around the edges this way and not vice versa. Okay, just to tell you that. 
Okay, so I'm gonna show you to the point where I have finished my collage. My goal was not to copy what I was seeing, but really copy the compositional structure of using triangulation. So here it is complete. Have fun with this. Um, and do your best to make sure that when you're gluing on that you don't see any pencil lines and you don't see kind of a mess around it. Um, it's okay to leave a little bit of white space if that makes sense with the composition.